How's it going guys? My name's Shane. Welcome back to the Horror Basement, another installment in the classic horror review series. Today we're going to be talking about The Screaming Skull from 1958. And I like this movie because um, if you don't count the skull or the ghost, there's only five characters total, which makes it very easy to talk about in a like short review type video. Uh, so the main characters of this movie are Eric and Jenny Whitlock. Uh, Jenny is a rich young woman who has just been recently married to her new husband, Eric. And Eric is moving them into his uh, palatial mansion estate, which um, he used to live in with his first wife, Marion, who was also rich and happened to die of uh, under suspicious circumstances she fell and uh, cracked her head apparently and other than the Whitlocks the only other three characters in this movie are uh, Mickey their gardener and the neighbors uh, Mr. and Mrs. Snow who don't play that much of a uh, a role in the plot other than exposition purposes so pretty much as soon as they move in um the spooky shit starts to happen, which the bulk of the movie consists of Jenny being stalked and tormented by the titular Screaming Skull, which is just a skull by itself, um, not a skeleton, not a skull being carried by a ghost. It's like just a skull, and it kind of rolls around and pops up in random places, and it freaks her out really bad. And uh, for the first half of the movie... We are led to suspect Mickey the gardener, who was desperately in love with Marion, Eric's first wife, uh, and is, I believe, supposed to be mentally handicapped in some respect. It's never really made clear, but um, of course Mickey only exists, much like the Snows only exists for uh, exposition, Mickey only exists to be a red herring. Because in reality, Eric is the one perpetrating these skull-based pranks and shenanigans in an attempt to essentially kill his, scare his new wife to death. And it's of course revealed that he, in some way, shape, or form, was responsible for the death of uh, Marion. And this is all a uh, clever um, insurance scheme to inherit all of uh, Jenny's money, just as he did with uh, Marion's. And that plane is going uh, perfectly well for Eric until the real ghost of Marion shows up and starts tormenting him with a bunch of skulls. Uh, and then, you know, shit just hits the fan from there towards the finale. So overall, I really, really enjoyed this movie. Um, I was aware of it before actually seeing it because The Screaming Skull has uh, made its rounds on the internet as one of those uh, lol cow, so bad it's good type of horror movies. Um, but really, I think I really enjoyed it. Uh, a lot of the things that people say about it um, are true. Like, it's pretty cheap, a very, very low budget. But I think that as far as um, the dialogue is concerned, it's not that jilted or awkward by 50 standards. I think everyone in the movie gives um, pretty good performances. And there are actually good moments of atmosphere and tension before all the crazy skull shenanigans happen at the end. Uh, yes, yeah, so overall, I definitely recommend this movie. Um, I had an idea while watching it to make a drinking game where you would take a shot every time a skull appears on screen. And um, I'm not going to say don't do it, but just before you pop this one in or pull it up on YouTube where you can find it, I uh, just want you to let you know that this movie is only about an hour and ten minutes long. And if you took a shot every time you saw a skull or a skull appeared in a scene... Um, you would take about 13 shots, 
and um, five or six of those are in the last ten minutes of the movie. So maybe don't, probably don't do that unless you're a pretty seasoned uh, drinker. Uh, so that's going to be it for today. Um, drink, don't drink, do whatever you want. Uh, but if you did enjoy the video, uh, leave a like. Uh, leave me a comment if you do try the drinking game. And if you survive, leave a comment. Let me know how it went for you. Uh, hit that subscribe button to join the Basement Army. And I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.